Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. I'm back today to take another look at a package that was sent to me in the mail. And this big box of stuff was sent to me by subscriber Tim Christie. So let's take a look at what I got. First of all, I got the phony baloney puzzle. The phony baloney puzzle was made by Parker Brothers in 1970. It comes apart in pieces, and then you have to try to get it back together again. I definitely remember when I was a kid that we had this pink stick that goes through the center. It was just sitting around our house. I had no idea what it was all these years, but now I know. He also sent me a bunch of VHS tapes. A couple of Jet Li movies, Black Mask and The Enforcer, and the legit New Line release of the Sonny Chiba classic, The Street Fighter. It has a red tape flap. I got Nowhere to Run, Universal Soldier The Return, Samurai Jack, the premiere movie, Bram Stoker's Shadow Builder, I love this holographic cover, the sci-fi classic Day of the Triffids, a two-tape set of the Three Stooges TV Classics collection, The Doors, Tales from the Crypt Bordello of Blood, and this Superman and Friends cartoon tape. What the hell happened to his face? I'd feel much safer if Superman were here. I really like this. The Long Box Vintage Horror Collection from Alpha Video. We've got four movies in here. Maniac, The Monster Walks, Mysterious Mr. Wong, and The Vampire Bat, which was the first horror movie that I remember watching in 1989 that led to my obsession with them and seeing thousands more. You cut yourself. Hey, blood. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Stop it, stop it. No hurt me. No hurt. Oh, you poor thing. I got some vintage 80s Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, including this Ferrari. <laughs> These two are from the 70s. And here's a brand new 1992 Hot Wheels Auburn 852. This is a 1990 bumper sticker promoting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. And here's a 1985 Masters of the Universe tattoo. This flat metal bottle opener commemorates the fourth annual Samuel Adams Beer Lover's Choice. I got 12 Pez dispensers. These five Star Wars Pez are all still new in the package. Plus I got Bugs Bunny, Garfield, a couple of Easter bunnies, a jack-o'-lantern, and two Santas. One thing that I collect that I've never shown on my channel is old Mad Magazine paperback books from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And now I have five new ones to add to my collection. I got the Organization Mad, Mad Bazaar, the Wet and Wisdom of Mad, Mad's Dave Berg Looks at People, and Son of Mad. This one's from 1959. And I'm adding another volume to my Charlie Brown book collection. It's for you, Snoopy. Now it's time to journey to the land of the mystical and the magical. The land of crystal balls. The land of wizards. We've got some handcrafted Wizards of Glen Willow figures. These were produced in the 80s by Russ Berry and Company. The backs of both boxes call the wizard Maros the Mighty. However, the wizards inside the boxes are two different wizards. I guess they all have crystal balls. Will the real Maros the Mighty please stand up? There's also some metallic looking wizards. Presumably, you would paint these yourself. These wizards got their crystal ball hands cut off, perhaps by some vorpal weapon. Without a doubt, the things I am the most excited about in Tim's package are the over 160 Viewmaster reels that he sent me. I remember when these Muppet Movie Viewmasters came out. I saw them in the store, but I never got them. Until now. Some of these date back to the late 40s, like Snow White and the Birth of Jesus. The newest ones are these sealed 1993 Ren and Stimpy ones, and these Perils of Mickey ones from the same year. I also got Bambi, Tweety and Sylvester, Lassie and Timmy, and Birds of the World. There are so many Viewmaster reels here. I can't show them all, but we'll take a look at some of them. Deputy Dog, Popeye, Blondie and Dagwood, Alvin and the Chipmunks, SeaWorld, Tarzan, Bullwinkle, Rudolph, Andy Panda, The Flintstones, Squidly Diddly, Flipper, Uncle Scrooge, Herbie Rides Again, Roy Rogers, and Gene Autry, National Parks, Homes of Movie Stars, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Dukes of Hazard, and The Cabbage Patch Kids. Plus, I got a classic 60s stereoscope viewer to look at them and this incredible 1950s Viewmaster Junior projector. You can use it to show the pictures on a wall in a standard non-stereo image. 
I've been wanting to do a video on my Viewmaster collection for a while now, so that will be coming up soon. Thank you so much to Tim Christie for sending all of these items for my collections. I am very pleased with them. I hope that you enjoyed today's Mail Day video. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I have more packages just sitting here to show you, so I'll be back soon with another Mail Day video. Thanks, YouTube. <coughs>